So what is going on YouTube, it's your boy Sam from Team Xamarin X1 here and today I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to showcase you guys the brand new FTK that has just emerged from the face of this earth. Let me tell you guys right now, this FTK is super duper consistent. There are so many ways to actually get access to this FTK if you're playing this specific deck. This deck is one of the decks you guys gotta watch out for when it comes to 2019, 2020 format. And let me tell you guys right now, I am not a fan of FTKs. I don't support FTKs whatsoever. I just wanna showcase you guys a video that an FTK like this will exist in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So you guys better expect to see this deck at possibly your locals and even your regionals. You definitely gotta prepare yourself for a deck like this. And especially in this format, cards like Nibiru is not being main deck whatsoever. So this FTK can actually become very successful in today's format. All right, guys, so I won't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's hop right onto YGO Pro to demonstrate you guys this consistent, easy FTK for you guys today. Let's do it. And today we'll be facing against Kyber Corp 1. <laughs> you guys already know, Paper Gang as always. Let's go, Paper. Okay, we got this. We get to go first. Uh, so it's actually easier for us to demonstrate this FTK. And by the way, guys, if you guys want to host for the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new Six Samurai Playmat today in the link in the description box below at TX1.com. Battle Shogun Playmat versus the Six Samurai Shein Playmat for you guys to get your hands on as part of the new Six Samurai collection. So make sure you guys get your Playmat today at TX1.com in the link in the description box below. And be sure to use the coupon code TX610 for 10% off your entire order. Let's do it. All right, guys. So our starting hand is absolutely phenomenal. So basically, we're going to be playing Six Samurais. We're going to be showcasing you guys the Six Samurai FTK. This FTK is really easy to pull off. Shout out to my boy Hanko for actually helping me make this list. So Hanko, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. And basically, all you need for this FTK is usually any two Six Samurai monsters and an extender. Okay, this extender can be a Temple of the Six Samurais. The reason why this card is kind of like an extender is because you put counters on this card. So whenever you search Gateway directly from your deck to your hand, you can actually easier facilitate the FTK by searching the Kizan or the show uh, or the Shinai or the Mizuho directly from your deck to your hand. So with this deck, you can FTK with almost every single hand. 99% of the time, you're always gonna get this FTK with the five cards in your opening hand. So the hand that we have right now is Smoke Signal, Kizan, Mizuho, Into the Void, and also Temple of the Six. So first and foremost, we're gonna activate Temple of the Six. The reason why this card is good is because you're actually able to put Bushido counters on this card, and that's what this FTK is all about. You need as many Bushido counters on the field as possible, so that way that you can actually successfully resolve this FTK. Obviously, activating to the void, we're gonna draw one card. The deck also has a lot of draw power as well, uh, which is really, really cool. So now what we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna activate Shein Smoke Signal. We can search the Shinai directly from our deck turn. So right now we have the red-blue combo, but obviously the keys on in our opening hand. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna uh, normal summon the Mizuho, and then we're gonna special summon the Shinai. Really good. And once we special summon the Sinai, we have two counters on the Temple of the Six immediately. Special on the Kizan. So we're linking the Kizan and also the Mizuho to the graveyard to summon General. So now once General is summoned, General is going to get its ability to actually discard a card from our hand. So the card that we discard is obviously the Golden Bamboo Sword in our hand, unfortunately. Gateway of the Six directly from our deck trend. So at this point right now, we have four counters. And the really wonderful thing about Gateway is that Gateway can remove counters from your entire field. So as long as you have counters on your field, you can actually trigger off Gateway's effect to remove four counters from the field to search a six iron monster directly from your deck to your hand. So the six iron monster that we're actually gonna search, so we're gonna remove four counters from Temple of the Six. We can search, we're gonna search keys on directly from our deck to your hand. So now we're actually able to build counters on the field. So what we're gonna do is that we can special the keys on, special them to the zone that general points to. So now general is gonna gain one counter, gateway is gonna gain two counters, and obviously Temple of the Six is gonna gain one counter as well. Now we can activate gateway once again, we can remove uh, four counters. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So four counters from the entire field. Search another keys on directly from our deck to our hand. So we're gonna search another keys on. We can special summon keys on, uh, which is really cool. Putting uh, more counters on the field, which is really awesome. We can make Shadow of the Six Samurai Shein. Okay, this also puts a counter on, uh, you know, General as well, and puts counters on the field. Move four counters from the field. We're obviously gonna keep adding keys on from our deck to our hand, which is really, really good. At this point, we're just gonna basically have infinite gateway counters. So now what we're gonna do next is that we're actually gonna make Isolde. Once Isolde is summoned, you're gonna activate Isolde's ability. We are gonna search Geki directly from our deck to our hands. We can activate Isolde's effect. Of course, Cursed Bamboo Sword, whips to the graveyard, to actually special summon Amazonist Archer directly from our deck. And this is when the FTK actually begins. So now we actually get to activate Cursed Bamboo Sword's effect to add Broken Bamboo Sword directly from our deck to our hand. So now we have so many counters on the field, we can actually activate Gateway again, remove four counters from the field. Yeah, Mizuho directly from our uh, deck or graveyard to our hand. We're gonna special Mizuho, uh, which is really, really good. We get more counters on Gateway and also on the Temple of the Six. We can activate Gate once more to remove four counters. One, two, three, four. We're gonna add a second Shinai directly from our deck trans. We are gonna tribute 
of course, the Shy Knight and the Kizon to the graveyard to deal 1200 damage to our opponent. Shy Knight at this point gets to add a Kizon back from our graveyard because Shy Knight was tributed. So now we're just going to repeat this combo until our opponent has zero life points. This FTK is super easy to facilitate. So now we're just going to keep Special Impact Kizon back to our field. Special Impact Shy Knight back to our field. Okay, remove four counters. One, two, three, four. Okay, we can search Grandmaster directly from our extra hand. We can even search Grandmaster, Special Summon Grandmaster back to our field. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is that if you guys are scared of hand traps, if you guys are scared of potential cards that will ruin your combo, make Appaloosa, and then you're pretty much lit. So Appaloosa has a monster negate now. So now we're actually going to activate Gateway once more. We're going to move four counters from the field. We're going to add another Shine Eye directly from our uh, graveyard to our hand. And since we control Mizuho, we can Special Summon back Shine Eye. Okay, and then we can trigger off Amazonist Archer's Effect once more. We can activate Archer's Effect, and we contribute off the two Shine Eyes, deal 1200. Both Shine Eye will trigger off its effect because whenever it gets it gets tributed, you get to add a six Samurai monster from a graveyard to our hand. So we add a Grandmaster and also a Kizan from a graveyard to our hand. So at this point, we're going to be able to generate an infinite gateway counters, so that way that you can just keep looping this combo until our opponent has zero life. Summon Grandmaster, Gateway gains a counter, Temple gains a counter, and also at the same time, you can do the same thing with United, and you can do the same thing with Dojo as well. And just go again, once again, should be these two. Deal 1200. You have six counters. You have five counters. You have a total of 11. So you're actually able to add two, uh, you know, six samurai monsters from your graveyard to your hand or from your deck to your hand. So the first one, we're always going to add a, a shine eye. And then we can actually activate uh, its effect again to remove four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then we can add another shine eye from our graveyard back to our hand. And then we get a special in both shine eye, giving us more counters on our side of the field. Uh, which is really really cool so we special summon shine eye uh you know from our hand which is really awesome and then we can activate archer again and we're just gonna basically just keep repeating this until our opponent has zero life like i know that this ftk is kind of degenerate but i feel like you guys definitely gotta watch out for an ftk like this uh, running around at regionals and also locals because this ftk is super duper consistent i'll showcase you guys a deck profile in the end on what this ftk looks like i have a rough list uh for you guys to take a look at at the end of the video so you guys can actually have an idea on what to play in this deck a lot of people are asking me, Sam, how do you play this deck going second? How do you play this deck going second? It is actually very, very simple. If you're playing this deck going second, since you're actually able to generate an infinite amount of gateway counters, add back Shine Eye and also add back another Shine Eye, uh, which is really good. So like I said, you're never going to be able to run out of gateway counters. Okay, because Shine Eye is also able to get back your free Kizons and also Grandmaster back from the graveyard. So as long as you see Shine Eye and Mizuho and you're consistently able to just loop this thing over and over again, you're just pretty much just going to win the duel. By tributing two Shine Eyes to the graveyard uh, to trigger off uh, Archer's ability, Shine Eye is essentially two gateway search from your graveyard because you're actually able to add back your keys on the back from your graveyard so you should be you deal 1200 both keys on the back to your hand at this point like you just tribute off two monsters and just pretty much call it a day but you know like there's so many other cool things you guys can actually do uh with this deck you can even just go into Gugaris uh right here uh you know going second it's pretty simple what you can do going second is that since you're able to generate infinite amount of gateway counters you're actually able to just otk your opponent by just boosting up your gateways infinitely and just boosting up one of your monsters attack to just one punch your opponent so it's actually just really easy to FTK your opponent with this deck. And there are so many extenders in that. Like I said, you got Instant Fusion, you got Into the Voids. Like there are so many cards to actually help you get into your combo pieces, uh, which is really good. So whatever we're doing now is just absolutely unnecessary. You don't have to do any of this at all. Um, I'm going to show you guys what the deck is actually capable of. You have extenders. The deck is just very versatile. The deck is actually really cool. Look, we still have 8 counters and 11 counters on Tempo at the moment. And then what you can do is next you just one punch your opponent by tributing the Archer. And then just pretty much game your opponent from here. Like... It's super duper simple. It's so consistent to pull off this FTK is absolutely insane. And this whole FTK is only possible because General, Great General, Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai is just absolutely incredible in my personal opinion. So it depends on what you have in your hand. You're actually able to just OTK your opponent even easier. Sometimes you are actually able to even make Apollosa before your fifth summon if you're scared of cards in the bureau. Let me showcase you guys a really rough deck profile. Your entire goal is try to build as many infinite gateway counters as possible. And once you do that, you're actually able to make cards like Zolt, use Zolt's ability to send four equip spells to the graveyard to be able to special an Amazonist Archer directly from the deck. The deck has so many draw power. You have Upstar Goblin, you have Golden Bamboo Sword, you have Six Samurai United, and obviously you're always gonna see the Broken Bamboo Sword if you get access to Zolt because Zolt is actually 
actually able to send the cursed bamboo sword to the graveyard so that way that you can search for the either the broken or the bamboo sword directly from an extra hand and the really wonderful thing about cursed bamboo sword is that this card is not once per turn whatsoever so if you have this card in your hand you can easily discard it off general to search gateway and this card is able to search uh, either a broken or a golden bamboo sword directly from an extra hand and once you get access to his old his old is actually able to search the second his old will basically get to search your pot of greed directly from an extra hand so definitely guys uh, this is just like a rough copy of what this deck kind of looks like uh, when it comes to this six samurai ftk there's a lot of things you guys can definitely add in if you guys would like you guys can add in more multiple temples but i feel like the most important cards are holds bushido counters is definitely shin's dojo united and also gateway gateway with shin's dojo or gateway with united is usually game ideally you want to have either dojo with gateway or gateway with temple there's so many ways to get access to this card if you already draw a gateway you can search temple directly from an extra hand this ftk is so versatile with any opening hand so this is the deck profile right here it's kind of like a rough copy maybe uh this looks like a more a viable list actually. Hikeki is still really good because it's usually a card that you can search off a zone and you can easily pitch it to the graveyard. You guys can definitely play around with the list as well. The extra deck is all up to personal preference as well. And going second, guys, you're actually able to use cards in Mizuho to pop monsters on the field, clear boards, and also at the same time put multiple monsters on the field to even just use Gateway's ability to just bump your monster up to infinite attack to actually just game your opponent, right? So this version right here is specifically to go first and to just OTK your opponent. This is the brand new FTK that has just emerged from the face of the earth. And this FTK is all possible because of great general. Uh, the six samurais this card name is called battle shogun now i felt like great general is just so much better the name was just so much more badass so let me know what your thoughts are about this ftk in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button and make sure you guys get your six samurai play mat today hit the link in the description box below at tx1.com thank you guys so much for watching this is your boy sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace Let's go, Let's go.